Welcome to HelpYourMath.com. My name is Sean, and in this video, I'm going to explain how to round up to the next number. So here we have 53 over 5 as an improper fraction. As a decimal, it would equal to 10.6. Now, as, as always, we will round up. So if the question asks us to round up, it would be 11. The same goes for 10.5, 10 10.4, 10 10.3, all the way to 10.0, and all the way up to 10.9. So basically, any decimal, as long as it's 10, we will round it to 11. That is rounding up. This is different from standard rounding because standard rounding, the rule is, it really depends on the number after the decimal point to determine if we round up or round down. So in standard rounding, anything from 10.5 upwards we round up to the next integer. So this will be 11. And anything from 10.4 downwards, we round down back to 10. So we keep the integer before the decimal point. But in this scenario, we're talking about rounding up no matter what the decimal point is. So even if the number is, for example, 47, we can automatically assume that the num this number has zero following the decimal point. So if we need to round up, the number will be 48. Same thing, 59. It tells you to round, we go directly to 60. This is useful, for example, in a scenario where you only have five one dollar bills and you want to buy the drink but the cashier doesn't have any change the price of the drink is four dollars and forty cents now remember you only have five one dollar bills are you gonna give four of them or five of them to the cashier because if you give five of them you won't get change back but if you give four of them you're not paying enough so in this scenario, we need the drink, right? So we would give all five of our $1 bills to the cashier so that at least we pay more than the price of the drink. If we pay less, the cashier wouldn't sell it to us since they're not making a profit and they're losing 40 cents. So therefore, we would give all five to the cashier and we would get the drink. So this is how, because since it's 4.4, .4, it may seem that we need to round down to 4, but then, in reality, the price of the drink is 5, $5. So this is just one example of how rounding up, no matter what the decimal point is, would work. Thank you.